Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to express the given f of x as a Fourier series in the interval 0, 2 pi and we are also going to prove this expression. So first part we are going to write the formula f of x is a0 by 2 plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos nx plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity bn sin nx. Now a naught is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x dx. We substitute f of x here which is 1 by 12 into 3 x square minus 6 x pi plus 2 pi square dx. Now taking 1 by 12 outside we get 1 by 12 pi and integration of 3 x square is 3 x cube by 3 minus 6 pi is a constant and x integration is x square by 2 and 2 pi square is a constant that into x. Now close the bracket and we are going to substitute upper limit then minus lower limit. Substituting upper limit we get first term is 2 pi whole cube and this is minus 3 pi into 2 pi square plus 2 pi square into 2 pi and using lower limit every term is 0. Now this is 1 by 12 pi. This is 8 pi cube when I take cube for individual terms and this is 3 pi into 4 pi square when I square individually and this is again 4 pi cube. Now totally this is minus 12 pi cube. So 1 by 12 pi 8 pi cube minus 12 pi cube plus 4 pi cube and 8 plus 4 is 12, 12 minus 12 0. So a naught is 0. Now coming to a n, the formula is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x into cos nx dx. Now 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x is 1 by 12 into 3 x square minus 6 x pi plus 2 pi square into cos nx dx. Here we are going to use Bernoulli's formula where u is this algebraic term 3x square minus 6x pi plus 2 pi square and b is this trigonometric term cos nx. We are going to use the formula integral uv dx is uv1 minus u dash v2 plus u double dash v3 so on. Now u dash is 6x minus 6 pi. u double dash is 6. u triple dash is 0. Now v1 is integration of cos nx is sin nx by n and next integration is minus cos nx by n square and next integration of this is minus sin nx by n cube. Now substituting everything in this Bernoulli's formula and outside we have to take this 1 by 12. So totally we have 1 by 12 pi outside and using the formula first term is uv1. So uv1 is 3x square minus 6x pi plus 2 pi square v1 is sin nx 
by n minus u dash which is 6x minus 6 pi v2 is minus cos nx by n square plus u double dash which is 6 into v3 and the rest of the terms are going to be 0. So we stop here and put the limit 0 to 2 pi. Using the upper limit wherever sine terms are there it will become sine nx term becomes 0. So when I put the upper limit the first term I can straight away write 0. Second term I have to substitute 2 pi here so which is 12 pi minus 6 pi cos nx term when I put 2 pi it is always 1 there is a minus sign so minus 1 by n square and the last term is 0. Coming to the lower limit minus open bracket when I put 0 here there is outside minus then 0 minus 6 pi and minus 1 by n square and sign terms are 0. So I take only the cos nx term because the other two terms are 0. Now simplifying this further we get 1 by 12 pi this is 6 pi there is a minus and this minus we can cancel. So 6 pi by n square this and this we can cancel and again this minus this minus we can cancel. So again this is going to be 6 pi by n square. So by adding the numerator we are getting 12 pi by n square. After cancelling this we get an as 1 by n square. So we keep this separately. Now coming to the calculation of bn which is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x sin nx dx. So 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi 1 by 12 3x square minus 6x pi plus 2 pi square sin nx dx. Now once again this is u and this is v. u dash is 6x minus 6 pi. u double dash is 6. u triple dash is 0. And v1 is this integration is minus cos nx by n and v2 is minus sin nx by n square and v3 is this integration is cos nx by n cube. So the same way how we used Bernoulli's formula for a n we are going to use it here also. So outside we have 1 by 12 pi formula is uv1. So I take u then into v1 which is minus cos nx by n then minus u dash which is 6x minus 6 pi into v2 which is minus sin nx by n square then plus u double dash into v3 close the bracket we have 0 to 2 pi now wherever sign term is there straight away we can take it as 0 when I put 2 pi and when I put 0 so let's substitute for the other terms the first term 3 into 2 pi whole square which is 4 pi square minus 6 into 2 pi and also we have 1 more pi plus 2 pi square and cos n into 2 pi is 1 and there is a minus sign so we take minus 1 by n. Then here when I put 2 pi it will become 12 pi minus 6 pi anyway this is 0 plus 6 into 1 by n cube 
Now coming to the lower limit, open bracket, this is 0, this is 0, we have 2 pi square and this is 1 but there is a minus sign so minus 1 by n. Anyway, the middle term is 0 and here it is plus 6 by n cube. So we completed all the limit substitutions. Now this is 12 pi square and this is minus 12 pi square so we can cancel all together. So this is 1 by 12 pi. First term is minus 2 pi square by n and this is plus 6 by n cube. When I take this minus inside, already there is a minus, so it becomes plus 2 pi square by n and again minus 6 by n cube. So, these two we can cancel and these two also we can cancel. Finally, bn becomes 0. So, substituting in our formula f of x, a0 by 2, that is the first term. A0 is 0. Second term, an is also 0. Sorry, an is 1 by n square. So, a0 by 2 is 0 by 2 plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity an into cos nx plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity bn is 0 into sin nx. So, f of x, what we have is only the middle term which is sigma n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n square cos nx. So, we completed the first part. Now, coming to the second part, we have to prove this expression. So, for that, I have to take x as 0. So, x is equal to 0 at x is equal to 0. So, the value of f of x, since it is an extreme value, we have to use f of 0 plus f of 2 pi by 2. f of 0, what will happen is 1 by 12, let us copy this term here. That is our f of x is 1 by 12, 3x square minus 6x pi plus 2 pi square. So when I take 0, the first term, second term is 0 and third term will be there, constant, plus. When I take 2 pi, 1 by 12, this is 3 into 4 pi square minus 6 pi into 2 pi plus 2 pi square whole divided by 2. Anyway, this is 12 pi square minus 12 pi square gets cancelled. So finally, what we have is pi square by 12 plus 2 pi square by 12 and whole divided by 2 is there so we can take that as half. So we can take the two common or better we add up as 4 pi square by 12. So we can cancel this. It's become 3. So it is pi square by 6. So now f of x is pi square by 6. And on the other side, we have sigma n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n square into cos nx. Since we take x as 0, I put 0. So now cos 0 is 1. Apart from that, expanding the sigma, 1 by 1 square plus when I put 2, 1 by 2 square, when I put 3, 1 by 3 square, when I put 4, 1 by 4 square, so on. Thus, we proved the second part of the question. That is, we have to show that 
5 square by 6 is 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 4 square dot 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 and here we got 5 square by 6 as this expression.